aloe vera is known for its various different names such as the medical aloe, burn plant, lily of the desert, and elephant's gall. The word aloe actually comes from the family of succulents that the aloe vera comes from. Different parts of the plant are widely known to have different beneficial properties for the body, both, both internally and externally. It is most famous as an important nutrient for taking care of our hair and being added to different beverages. Here are 10 health benefits of the aloe vera as proven by science. 1. Facial application of aloe vera gel can prevent acne. The beauty benefits of aloe vera are endless. That is why aloe vera is used as an active ingredient in moisturizers, face washes, moisturizers, lotions, soaps, and many other beauty products. This is due to the aloe vera's s moisturizing and curative properties. The aloe vera is so powerful when it comes to beautifying the complexion that even the Egyptian queen Cleopatra is believed to have used aloe vera as part of her daily beauty regime. The aloe vera prevents acne in different ways. One is its antibacterial properties is that it prevents bacteria from infecting the pores. It's a stringent property that removes dirt and oil from the skin, and if you did have acne, aloe vera can help your skin regenerate better to avoid scars. Key takeaway, if you want to prevent acne breakout, then apply aloe vera gel on your face every single day. 2. The aloe vera gel can be used to prevent and cure hair loss. Alopecia or hair loss is a common yet embarrassing predicament. It is most common among men who are above 40 years old, this is because of their scalp's inability to handle the presence of dehydra testosterone, or a broken down form of the testosterone. The aloe vera has been known by a lot of cultures and indigenous doctors as an effective solution against hair loss. The said benefits are so famous that a lot of multinational hair product companies have integrated aloe vera extracts into their products. Key takeaway, if you are at starting to lose hair or already have lost some, applying pure and natural aloe vera can help reverse your hair loss and eventually return your scalp to its former youthful look. 3. Aloe vera extract can be used to prevent wrinkles and skin aging. One of the major causes why the skin ages rapidly are due to the drop of the elasticity of the skin cells and fibers. One reason of this is because of the lack of collagen and moisture in the skin. This causes the skin to sag and makes the poor person suffering it to look older than their age. Luckily, research has shown that aloe vera has properties to help prevent the early onset of skin aging. There is evidence that suggests that topically applied aloe vera can slow down the aging of the skin. In a study, 30 women aged 45 and above were asked to apply aloe vera gel on their skin to see whether it would benefit the subject's complexion. During and after the 90-day experiment, it was seen that the aloe vera gel increased the skin's collagen production and improved skin elasticity. This resulted in a younger-looking and less wrinkled skin among the participants. Key takeaway, if you start to see the symptoms of skin aging or fear that you would, applying aloe vera gel on your skin will definitely help you. 4. The aloe vera can prevent dental plaque buildup. An unhealthy oral hygiene or unchecked oral health can lead to various gum and tooth diseases. Reducing the buildup of plaque in our teeth is one of the best ways to prevent this from happening. Key takeaway, if you find commercial mouthwashes to be very expensive and unaffordable, using aloe vera juice can be just as effective to prevent the buildup of plaque on your teeth. 5. Aloe vera aids in weight loss. One way aloe juice could help in weight loss is its anti-inflammatory properties. Inflammation is linked to weight gain and metabolic issues, and in this way, aloe vera juice could play its part in promoting weight loss. And as per Japanese study, ingestion of aloe vera can prevent diet-induced obesity. It achieved this by stimulating energy expenditure and reducing accumulation of body fat. 6. Drinking aloe vera juice lowers blood sugar and prevents diabetes. Aloe vera has been used as a traditional medicine for various ailments for a very long time. Indigenous people have believed that aloe vera can scare away evil spirits residing in the body and heal the person from diseases. 
One such disease is the infamous and deadly diabetes. Diabetes is caused by either the body's inability to utilize insulin and the other is the overabundance of glucose and sugar in our bloodstream. Several types of research have shown that ingestion of aloe vera supplements has helped both animal and human test subjects to utilize insulin and at the same time improve blood sugar levels in the bloodstream. However, more research has been done on its ability to fight type 2 diabetes. Key Takeaway Diabetes can be a really devastating disease for not just the sick but also to their family. Thankfully, it is also a preventable disease with the help of a proper diet and exercise. Aloe vera can lower the possibility of you ever getting diabetes. 7. Aloe vera can help mouth ulcers. Mouth ulcers are very common and usually harmless sores that occur in our mouths. Mouth ulcers may be harmless but they are definitely uncomfortable to live with. They often occur on the lips, tongue, or inside of the cheeks. The sore usually goes away after a week or two. Key takeaway, if you have a mouth ulcer, applying aloe vera to it will make it cure faster. 8. Aloe vera drinks boost the immune system. Beverages made from the aloe vera juice has natural detoxifying components that effectively clean the circulatory and digestive system. The aloe vera is able to accelerate the absorption level of nutrients by the body. This results in a better blood circulation. Key takeaway, the aloe vera plant is a very helpful plant when you are in need of an immunity booster. The aloe vera is sure to keep infections away. 9. Aloe vera can be used to treat constipation. Aloe vera has often been believed by older generations to fight against constipation. This is because traditional medicine believes that the aloe vera has tons of benefits for the digestive system, and one of these benefits is fighting constipation. Key takeaway, if you have constipation or trouble excreting your stool, the barbaloin or aloin which can be extracted from the younger leaves of the aloe vera can be a helpful and effective treatment. 10. Aloe vera has the potential to prevent breast cancer. Breast cancer or a type of malignant cancer that originated from the breast cells. It is one of the most common types of cancer among women patients and second most common overall. Just last 2012, 1.7 million women worldwide have contracted this deadly and scary disease. Aloe vera has been said to have lessened the probability of breast cancer among people who have potential to get the disease. Key takeaway. Breast cancer is a scary thing to think about. However, at an early age, both women and women should already be finding ways to prevent it. Aloe vera extract shows a potential in defending women against this cancer. Which form of aloe should you take? Aloe gel has been around, and a staple in beach bags, for a long time. More recently, health brands are finding ways to incorporate the plant extract in capsule form selling it as a supplement. Some nutrition enthusiasts have even started to buy health drinks containing aloe vera juice or juice it themselves. How should you take it? There isn't a clear winner. It depends on the symptoms you want to treat. If you're trying to moisturize your skin or ease a sunburn or rash, gel is the obvious choice. If you're taking it mainly for the antioxidants, or to promote dental health or lower blood sugar, you can drink juice which is made from different parts of the leaf. Aloe vera capsules, tablets, or pills are always options if you want convenience and aren't wild about the juice. You can find these in the supplement aisle at your grocery store, health food shop, or online. Fortunately, aloe vera is pretty inexpensive and widely available no matter the form. That means you don't have to settle for only one way of taking it. Use it however it is most convenient for you. How much aloe should you take? How much aloe you should take daily also depends on what you're trying to treat. Aloe creams and gels have a huge disparity in strength. While an aloe burn cream might contain less than 1% aloe vera, something for psoriasis could contain as much as 70%. As of now, there is no set recommended dose for oral supplements. In case you are wondering how to prepare the juice, it doesn't take longer than your morning cup of coffee. How to prepare aloe vera juice. 
One popular way of consuming aloe vera juice is with honey, which is what we will look at now. All you need is 200 grams each of aloe vera and honey. Take the spikes off the aloe vera leaves and leave the green skin alone. Cut it into small pieces and add them to the blender. Now add honey. Mix well and put the mixture in a jar. You can drink a spoonful of the juice thrice a day, before you eat. Ideally, do this for 10 days, take a break for 10 days, and repeat. The benefits are great, but the juice has some side effects too. Side effects of aloe vera juice. 1. Potassium deficiency. Though aloe vera juice might help in weight loss in a way, it can act adversely too. It is a laxative and acts as a diuretic, though this can cause short-term weight loss, it can be harmful in the long run as it can lead to potassium deficiency, impairing muscle and heart function. 2. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. Aloe vera can be potentially dangerous when taken by mouth. One report links aloe vera with miscarriage. The juice can also increase the risk of birth defects. Avoid use if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. 3. Allergic reactions. Some individuals could be allergic to aloe. This could be true especially with individuals who are allergic to garlic, onions, or tulips. The symptoms include rashes, hives, swollen or itchy skin, chest pain, and difficulty breathing. 4. Kidney issues. This could be severe. Aloe vera juice can cause potentially dangerous kidney injury. Hence, if you have any kind of kidney disease, avoid using aloe vera. And if you are wondering where to buy the ideal aloe vera juice, we have it covered. One option is heading to the nearest supermarket. The other is placing an order online. Whatever mode you choose, these are a few brands you can look for. 1. Message Aloe Nectar. 2. Patanjali aloe vera juice. 3. Street botanical wheat grass with aloe vera. You might also want to check Badenoth aloe vera juice. Conclusion. Like we have seen, research sways on both the sides. Hence, what we can conclude is this, aloe vera juice is absolutely great. You can use it for its benefits. But if you are someone with any medical condition, it is just as important to avoid use and consult your doctor first. Tell us how this video has helped you. Do comment in the box below.